Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to share my YouTube channel membership benefit with you. My channel is about Paduk teaching and sharing. You can see my membership benefit here. If you join GoFan, you can watch the Q11 lecture for Q players once a week. And if you join Super Go Fans, you can watch the lectures for Dan players and Q players once a week. And if you want more, you can consider to join passionate Go Fan and big supporters and future Majin. I'm sure if you really want to improve your Paduk skill, these lectures will help you a lot. And one more thing, if you are my Patreon members and you also want to watch the videos, please switch to join the YouTube membership. I'm gonna upload the first lecture. From now on, the lecture videos are for my YouTube members. I will still continue to upload the professional player's game, my live game, and other videos just as a user. Thank you very much. Bye! Hello everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how you can beat the tricky move from your opponent. Have you seen this move before? Uh, I think I saw this move so many times uh, from my student game. Yeah, I'm gonna explain to you what happened from just now. Black just approaches here and then many times white plays a pincer, right? And then black invade here, white should block and then black should push. Original Joseki should be extending here and then black can hane and then connect and then white can push uh, the traditional one is here actually this is also not that big problem but nowadays this is more popular and the black should jump this is a joseki that we are playing right yeah but sometimes you will see that if uh, your opponent may play hane here just like uh, your opponent want to make this variation because somehow white potential is much better yeah, compared to just now that Joseki. So um, if you are not that confident to handle which is a complicated one still you can play. Uh, but locally of course white is better. Yeah, but what you are going to get is the sente. Yeah. So I can't say this is a best move. Yeah, uh, so uh, to be honest, and long time ago, and also the if you see the old book, they always taught you black should extend here. Yeah, the reason why, if white is just block here, now white will fall into black's trap. Black can cut here, and then now if white just try to take care of this cutting point, then you can capture here. Somehow, mm, don't you think black's potential is much better at the left-hand side? Yeah, it's much better than original Joseki. So what about white just save this one? Then now you can go back to capture white the three stones. The main point is you should block here. That's the important point. And no matter why he's doing anything, then now he can't connect with this one. Yeah, that's that. What about white then decided to play maybe extending? Yeah, extending. And let's say the ladder is better for white. Even the ladder is better for white, then you don't need to be worried. You can just extend here. Here it's possible to connect. If black plays here, white can block here. This time black cannot play here, right? Because it's leather. But now, mm, what you can do that is you can even make white become fat shape. They are very, very, very heavy. <laughs> and then you can go back to kill two stones. What is this? Black is much better, right? So you don't need to be worried for this one. But even this traditional logic, the move, is not good. Because now white can just let black connect and then uh, white can just go back to connect here. Then you should play here, and then white can block here. Black should answer, then white can answer here. To be honest, this is a little bit better for white. Yeah, long time ago, people were thinking this is good for black, and it was very simple, yeah, but white potential is much better than black, although black can catch the sente, little bit better for white. But to be honest, sometimes when uh, my student was asking me, then I still recommend them to play extending as well. It depends on their um, level. If they can't, if, if they feel it's too hard to control, then sometimes I recommend them. Yeah. And uh, okay, so I have to uh, teach you which one is the best move. Uh, instead of those move, then you must hane here. Yeah, remember? And the white should block and the black should connect and the white should connect here. If you just hane here, it will be same as the, when you play hane here. So what you have to do is cut this. Yeah, cut is the main point. But you have to even remember one more thing. If you have a good ladder, then you can cut here. But if you don't have a, 
uh, if your leather situation is not good, then you can't cut here. Okay, so White should save this one. He can't consider to capture something like this. They are in trouble there. So he should connect, he should extend and escape here. And then now you have to go back to block here. Why I was asking you to check the ladder if white just attack here. If this is ladder, white potential is so good. Did you know that uh, capturing single stone is a 30 point value? Yeah, I can't say this is 30 point, but white is much better than black. So you must save this one. Yeah, that's the point. Okay, what about the white uh, separate two stones now? It's very complicated fighting. You know, black has a two groups and the white has a two groups. Normally, this kind of fighting is so complicated. Yeah, and then now you have to know next move. Black should just extend here. And what about white just saves here? You know, however, trading here is good for black. You know, this one is really... Uh, white didn't get anything, but black got the left hand side, uh, and even white black is much stronger. So white should go back to push. Now you should prepare. If you just decided to do it immediately, then there will be cutting here. You know you can't take care two cutting point. So you should do jump here. This is the main point that what you have to know. Then if he just go back to capture two stones. Then now you are ready to play double honey here. It's amazing. If white just captures, then you can capture back three stones. Black is good enough. Yeah. And what about white just uh, says that? No, 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 no. You can't do that. Then now you are ready to attack over here. Even the white plays here, then you can oh you can do whatever. And then connect here. White can't escape. It's beautifully. It's the net now. So then, um, is there any other move? What about white plays a knight move? Oh, it seems great idea, but still it's not really good. If black like, just extend here, connect, and then jump here. You know white can't make the push and cut. Uh, white stones are all dead. So uh, we should connect, maybe push, connect, whatever. Yeah, just like this. Then now you don't need to be hurry. You can just save the corner, push and extending here. If white just answers that when you connect here, wow, the corner is alive and the white is so busy. If white plays here, we can just jump here. It's really not good. How can we play like this? And if white just answers here, this Atari is even sente. And then maybe around here or here. However, you know, black is very thick. White doesn't have any territory. And the corner is alive because this Atari is sente for black. Yeah. So it's really impossible to continue. Yeah. Then, okay. I understand. I got it. Then what about the white just decided to play this move? Yeah, I want to support here. Then there is another method. Uh, firstly, uh, still you need to have a trading. Trading is quite necessary. Then now you need to make this group lighter. But before you just give up this group, then you can push here. This is making white group much weaker. And then he should play here, and then you can attack here. Okay, now already white shape is so heavy, and you have to jump here. In case he plays a push and cut, then now he can't capture this one because there will be net again. And he should just answer something like this. And then you can separate the two stones. Then if you just keep fighting like this, then white is much, much, much rush. So this fighting is also uh, not possible for white. Yeah, if you just continue, then you will get better result. So, okay, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Then watch the best move. I think best move maybe should be this one. It might be the best move for white. Yeah, like this. There, I cannot see any better move than this one. Yeah, just like this. And then jump here. This will be the best variation for white. But as I told you, this will be good enough for black. Yeah, so actually white is not good. Yeah. Okay, then I understand. Then what about if... um. What if my ladder is not good? What if white has this exchange while the corner is white? And then now if he plays a honey here, what should I do? Yeah, now you have to use another decision. You have to still exchange here. And this cut doesn't work, remember. 
even if you try to save this one and then when you just connect here you should go back to take care of the corner and then when you take the corner and they white just fight here somehow they have to fly away to the center but when you just fly away white is keep getting territory at the side like this then black is getting nothing but white is getting territory then of course this fighting is not good for black so what do you have to do instead of a cut here you know when you are cutting here some that means normally you should have a two group you should bit something when you cut somewhere but this time we are not ready so you have to use another test G. you just need to step back yeah attach for example if white just connect and then when you play here this becomes similar than joseki but you can see that there will be exchange this push if it, it, it's exchanged but this exchanging is really good for black yeah it feels like nothing but uh after this then white can only consider to push and then use it for the center but if you don't have a such exchange here and later when you have a chance to develop your territory at the left hand side and uh just now it was exchanged like this right then now black can just push up then black can just play comfortably or black can even tanuki but if you don't have this exchange later white may have a chance to play invading here and get back more territory at the left hand side yeah that's the main point then what about black's the answer black may have to exchange this move then white will be much better but if you had a bad exchange black doesn't need to give you this this exchange yeah that's why it's big different so uh okay then when i play here then what about white extend this time you are really ready to cut here if you cut there white can't consider to capture this because now white stones four stones are all dead so uh he should only consider to push here and then now is the main point still you are not ready anything yeah if you just want to capture his four stones and he will connect here then now everywhere is in trouble you really have to be careful you shouldn't extend here when he just plays here if you just try to save the corner he cannot tarry still you need to answer one more time this fighting is horribly not good and what about you just decided to extend here but the point is even though you just make like this if your corner is dead then it's not good too yeah and still you can't consider to cut here because there are too many cutting point like this and then when you extend here he plays here everywhere is in trouble yeah there will be like leather you should save the three stones then what was wrong with black yeah you have to remember this time you really have to just prepare with connecting here connecting is the main point what about i capture then you are ready to block here nothing to think uh you don't know how to beat when you cut here okay my ladder is not good then you need to make the ladder extend here and then when he is checking the situation you just need to surround here so this capturing race is not going to work are you worried about uh when he attaches here then now if you are worried about this this variation like this yeah of course you fall into the trap you just need to connect here and then when he plays here you can throw in and then surround here and then here are you worried about his keep escaping the actually you can do enough time and then actually this is really impossible to play up i will teach you how you can kill this group you don't have to exchange anything and then instead of jump you can push here and then if he is escaping here he can only play here right and then don't exchange anything that's the point and then jump here what about he just jumps here then this time you can use this atari and then push and it become connect and die what about then he plays push here then this time you don't need to atari here you can throw in here then become they are or that yeah so i don't think you will be worried about this variation right so he can only consider to support his three stones then now your fighting condition will be much better than white yeah you can just block here he can't extend here you can even jump white stones are all dead he should uh, escape here then mm, there are two two happy choice you cannot tarry and then there will be many corrections many, many 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 moves that are gonna work you can push here he should extend and then you can try to fight here 
This fighting it will be definitely good for you. Uh, even though he wants to make the net, you can just keep escape here. White will be very busy. No matter how he is escaping here, then now his fighting flow is not good. This is getting damaged naturally. And then uh, what about he ignore here? Oh, that's a good question. But now you don't need to be hurry. If you are hurry to capture him like this, then this push is going to be sent that it doesn't work. So you can just Atari here and still are you worry about cutting point? Then you can even extend here. Then, you know, white can't escape anymore. Yeah. And the capturing race is not going to work too. Yeah, well, black has too many liberties now. Yeah. If he caught, leather doesn't work, you can just jump here. Yeah, so you don't need to be worried. Um, that's why uh, for this fighting, basically, really it doesn't work for white. So white must just connect here. And then when you play here, actually, this is a little bit better for black because of that bad exchange. Yeah. And this is how you can handle when your ladder is not good. Yeah. Okay, so today I uh, taught you the old variation how you can handle when your opponent plays a tricky move. Yeah, so still I recommend uh, if you are not confident to handle for this fighting, then still I recommend you to play the A or mm, this one. After, even though you exchange here, the A variation like this. Yeah, this one. Little bit better for white. And another variation, Hane and then connect, and then you can just Hane and then push one more time, and then Tenuki, yeah. But as I told you, this is not the best move. Yeah, actually, white is okay. And if you are confident to handle for this Joseki, so you can Hane and this one. If your ladder is not good, then you should attach, and you can play like this. And if your ladder is good, there is no exchange like this. Then you can attack, uh, sorry, you can cut here. And then this fighting is gonna be wonderful for you. Yeah, here, this one. And then when he plays here, you can extend. The main point is extending. When he pushes here, oh, I don't know how to handle it. It's so complicated. And then you should jump here. And then looking for the A and then B. Yeah, so white best answer should be here. And you are ready to play double honey. Trade like this. Okay, so I think it's clean, yeah. Okay, everybody, uh, thank you so much for watching for this video. I really want to say thank you so much for my membership member and Patreon as well. Please like and subscribe and share this video and please like uh, press the bell as well. Then see you guys next time. Bye bye.